Yes, next case is a coin is tossed 900 times. Find out the probability that the number of heads is between 435 and 465. A coin is tossed 900 times. That means number of trials 900. The probability, find the probability that the number of heads, that means getting head is the definition or standard of success. And any number of times the coin is tossed, the probability of getting had, that means probability of success remains constant, that is 1 by 2. And if probability of success is 1 by 2, probability of failure, that means probability of not getting had is also 1 by 2. Now, we can say that the data follow or the data satisfies the conditions of binomial distribution n is finite and fixed, probability of success and failure are constant in each and every trial. All trials from first to 900 toss, the trials are independent. Now, what is the technical problem? n is very large and that's why it is not possible for us to calculate the probabilities through the formula of binomial distribution. That is the first important point. Got it? Now, what to do? Now, say in next trial, let us think about Poisson distribution. Can we calculate the required probability or probabilities through the use of Poisson distribution? Now, if we want to use Poisson distribution, we need mean. Yes. Now, what is mean? Say in this case, mean or mean number of successes. So, it is Poisson approximation to binomial distribution mean is NP, N is 900, P probability or rather constant probability of success is 1 by 2. So, mean comes to 50. That is very large against our expectation of 10 or 12. If the value of mean is up to 10 or say 12, we can use Poisson distribution easily. But for this much large value, we cannot use Poisson distribution. So, originally the data follow or rather satisfy conditions of binomial distribution but because of very large n we cannot use binomial distribution then we thought about use of Poisson distribution but again mean is 450 that is very large against our expectation of 10 or 12 so we cannot use Poisson distribution. Now we have only one choice that is the best one normal distribution we have mean of the distribution now just we require to calculate the standard deviation again we are going to use normal approximation to binomial distribution what is standard deviation for a binomial distribution or for a data which follow conditions of binomial distribution under root npq that is under root 900 into half into half that means it is under root 225 and that means standard deviation is 15. Is it? We have all the two parameters of normal distribution and not only that, this is the data in continuous form. So we can use normal distribution for the purpose of calculation. But if we want to use normal distribution in the place of binomial distribution or for the data which follow binomial distribution, we have to make slight modification in the main part of question. From this question, find probability of 435 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 465. We can say that x takes the lowest value of 435 and highest value 465. That means these are the two limits of possible values of x, number of successes or number of heads. This is called lower limit and this is called upper limit. In case we are going to use normal distribution in the place of binomial distribution, we have to use continuation correction factor. And that is subtract 0.5 from the lower limit and add 0.5 to the upper limit. So, if we want to find out the answer of this question, 
we have to solve the problem in this way. This is called use of continuous correction factor or continuity correction factor. In that case, we have to subtract 0.5 from lower limit and we have to add 0.5 to the upper limit. Just at a cost of some time, we are going to use the continuity correction factor for some other types of data. Say, if we have been asked to calculate probability of, say, at least 200. We know that at least 200 means probability of x greater than or equal to 200. Now, in this case, what is 200? Is it lower limit or upper limit? It is lower limit because the lowest possible value of x is 200. If we want to find out the answer of this question through normal distribution, we have to subtract 0.5 from 200 because 200 shows the lower limit of the range. So we have to find the answer of x greater than or equal to 199.5. Similarly, if we require to find out the answer of say, at the most 375 that means we require to find out the probability of x less than or equal to 375 that means x is either 375 or less that means 375 is the upper limit of the range and in upper limit we require to add 0.5 so we have to find the answer of p of x less than or equal to 375.5 this small thing is to be considered at the time of using normal distribution where the data or rather original data follow binomial distribution got it okay let us do the original sum Now let us take x1 equals to 434.5 and we know that z score is x minus mean divided by standard deviation that means z1 will be 434.5 minus 450 divided by 50. z1 takes some value slightly after 1, it is 1.03 or say 0.4, what is it? I think it is 1.03, better you confirm it. X2 will be 465.5. So Z2 will be 465.5 minus 450 divided by 15. So Z2 is positive 1 point, is it 0.3? Yeah, okay. zero. The visual is Area for x had 1.03. is 
3, 4, 8, 5 plus, sorry, from left hand side and plus 0.3485 from right hand side. It comes to 0 0.6970. Yes. This is the answer, say according to binomial, sorry, normal distribution, this is the answer of x rather 435 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 400, 434.5 rather, 465.5. We originally need answer of probability of 435 to 465. That is according to our original data which follow binomial distribution. So this is the answer of our original problem.